If you have ever noticed or have been told by a fitness professional that your feet tend to turn out or your knees tend to cave in, they may have instructed you to foam roll and stretch the short head of your biceps femoris. What that is, that's right here, kind of right above your knee towards the outside and bottom of your hamstring. So the best way to roll it is with using an SMR, self myofascial release ball like this one. This is five inches in diameter and it's fairly sort of squishy. And what you're gonna do, you can either do this on the floor or on a box. I prefer a box. You're just gonna set the ball down. You're gonna put the weight of your hamstring onto the ball. And then while you're here, do your entire hamstring looking for any tight spots. If you find a tight spot, you can stop and hold on it. Make sure you're taking deep belly breaths in and exhaling through your mouth. You can also add in some leg movement to kind of massage the muscle. You can go side to side, up and down, like so. But if you want to hit the short head of the biceps femoris, you need to get it right in here. So if you're, if you're tight there, as soon as you hit that spot, you will know. And you can just hang out there put pressure on it, or again, wiggle back and forth, go up and down, just get that area nice and loose. And then a way to stretch the, the short head of the biceps femoris, you'll come over to the side of the box, you're gonna put your foot up on the box, you're gonna point your toe straight up to the ceiling, put your hands on your hips, get your back nice and straight, and then you're gonna hinge forward as far as you comfortably can so you feel a real good pull through the hamstrings. You might even feel it in your calves too, which is good. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your toe inwards and hold that. And then you should really feel the, the stretch increase in this section right here. But you're still trying to bring your toes towards you and that way. Now to make the stretch even deeper, you can take your upper body and turn it the opposite way. And if you're tight in this section, you will really feel this stretch. It might be a little uncomfortable, but hold it for as long as you comfortably can, 20 to 30 seconds. You can also come out of the stretch and then smoothly go back in and do it as an active stretch as well. So stay tuned and I will show you a couple more exercises for fixing uh, feet turnout.